you might wonder, how do you recognize somebody that's this special in a company? It's pretty clear if we were a sports team what we would do. Since no one's ever accused him of being athletic, we're not going to be hoisting a jersey with his number on the back. So what do we do? Well, we're a company. We dedicate conference rooms after certain individuals. The first conference room that you see it historically was the Henry Ford Road. That will become the Kevin Quast conference room. We have three somewhat discreet pieces of artwork to reflect three elements of his life that we have come to know through him to remind us of him and to inspire us of him. The sand dunes to Kevin was a release point for a man that didn't show a lot of stress that he would take in, whether it be at work, in the home, or in his church duties. The sand dunes was where Kevin could go and just let it all loose. As I thought about Taiwan and what Taiwan meant to Kevin, four words just kept popping back into my mind. They were faith, family, forever, and service. Whether it's helping someone build something, whether it's helping someone on an emotional level, on a spiritual level, that's what his missionary service was all about. It's hard not to see BYU, at least for me, and think of Kevin Boss. I mean, it did epitomize I mean, so much of what he loved. You know, his family, who all attended the school. It's his alma mater, who represents his faith. You know, we're, we're going to miss him. And I think to be able to walk by this conference room and see those three pictures, I think that's going to put, I think, a smile on our faces. And he was a great man, and I think we're grateful that we're able to do this for him. And know that we'll always remember 